and welcome to Poetry in Purgatory, a game by uh, Time Dust Games, which is still in uh, development. I think we're currently at version 0.1, but, but in its current state, it was submitted to the Otome Gem 2023. And honestly, this is going to be a longer series than the other one-offs I've been doing thus far, because... When I say in, in its current state, it seems like there's a fair bit of game in progress here. As the uh, itch.io page describes, we have the entire prologue, the entire first act, that's first act out of three total, and one entire character route in this game, so a significant amount of content in here. Although, to be fair, the itch.io page does describe that we're going to have, uh, yeah, three full acts, monumental epilogue, where our choices will prove very significant, and eight total uh, character routes, eight total love interests, uh, eight total uh, love interests of various degrees, also arcs that are... Also, uh, romance slash friendship arcs that are not mutually exclusive. It says we can, we can stay friends, but ro ro the romance is not required. You may stay friends with people. You may become polyamorous. And uh, romance multiple people. It's a... Honestly, it looks utterly delightful. I've had another one of I've had another one of Time Dust games in my library for a while, which I've been dying to touch. Called Pit Stop in Purgatory, which is a somewhat similar premise. It's fully finished, but this is this poetry in Purgatory is described as a uh, I believe a unique experience in the same universe, but completely standalone. Yeah, standalone sequel to Pit Stop in Purgatory. So, I have a very good feeling about this. And hey, it might be the impetus I need to finally go back and play Pit Stop. Because Pit Stop is fully completed, as far as I understand. Okay, enough rambling. As far as premise goes, we are Isabel Salvi. We were, uh, young, beautiful, rich, and now we're dead. We don't know why we died, we were poisoned by some, um, some unknown person for unknown reasons. And we turned up in heaven. Hey. Good deal. We've been greeted by God herself. Hell yeah. Paradise is wonderful, but, alas, paradise does not come free. So, alas. Let us begin, then. No, this works. All right. Let us begin. They say that when you die, your whole life flashes before your eyes. Oh. Someone! Send for help! Maybe my death was too fast because I sure didn't experience any flashing. It's the young mistress! She's joking! It didn't feel fast, though felt excruciating. Endless. Where's her father? I clawed wildly at my throat. It didn't ma it didn't make a difference in the end, of course. Someone anyone do something. If only I knew then that dying would turn out to be the least of my problems. She's not breathing. Oh, good poetry in purgatory.
Huh? Repair the gates? Oh. Uh, a dream. It's been forever since I had one, as, uh, lucid as this. Practically feel the, uh, hmm, what am I walking on anyway? Are these clouds? Oh, rise and shine. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, didn't you hear me? What are you doing? I'm pinching myself, obviously. How else would I wake up from this ridiculous reverie? Reverie? You're using fancy pants words. What an interesting choicey choice. Um... Very well, then. Pinch away. Human. Who is this person? Uh... <laughs> we can sass. Oh, no, I don't feel like it anymore. Oh? Changing your mind just like that, are you? It's all for the best, is he? No matter what you do, you are stuck here for now, you see? I don't understand. Wait, is he? Only my friends call me that. Oh, I'd love to be your friend. That's not what I... It stops going with me. Huh? You don't know who you're messing with. You. You. You name-knowing stalker. The powerful insult, you see. My father will punish you once he finds out where I am. Like... All right, let's cool off just a little bit, okay? I feel like we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Or is it gotten off on the wrong feet? Some of these human sayings are still tough to get right for the little old me, even with all my fantastic knowledge. Hmm. That's the second time you say human like that. Who are you? Wanna guess? Uh, taking that as a no. I'm God, is he? But since we're friends, I, <laughs> I appreciate the shocked exclamation on the, on the name bar. You can call me Rem. Rem. Capricious God Queen Extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. Can can you uh, hold on a second? Rem, was it? What are you doing now? What the? My phone is not here. Did she steal it while I was unconscious or something? How am I supposed to call for help now? What a mean thing to accuse someone of. We just met and you already called me a thief. You are definitely suspicious, so can you blame me? Wait, how did you know what I was thinking? I am the Almighty. Huh. Isabel Salvi, 21 years of age and daughter of world-famous businessman Rain Salvi, an only child born on New Year's Eve. You love licorice, and you love eating it while sorting through your impressive collection of expensive jewelry. And you're extremely proud of that one time you managed to do 25 jump ropes in under a minute. Well, that is impressive. Give you that. Blah, blah, expedition, blah, blah. The reason why I can read your mind is the same reason why I know all these things about you, is he? It's because... I... am... God. Get it? You can't possibly be serious. You went from confident to angry to mellow awfully quick, little friend. Well, that's okay, because today is very important after all. It's your first day in heaven. Woohoo! You, you don't seem excited. Uh, uh, heaven? But I... I'm... I'm not dead. Oh, ah, uh, mm, correction. You are dead. It's actually the first of two pesky prerequisites to get in here, you know. 
What's the second one? Being special. Special. Let's put a pin in that for now, shall we? How about you follow me beyond the uh, pearly gates? I'll show you the old office uh, and just how uh, lucky you are to be here. I uh, suppose. I can't believe any of this. I'm I'm dead. And talking to God. What in the actual hell is going on? Not hell, is he? Evan, get out of my head. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love him. Welcome to my little hidey hole, is he? Sorry about the mess. Seems my sweet boy has been neglecting his cleaning duties. But I do keep him awfully busy, so I guess that's okay. I'm really in God's office. Your sweet boy? Ah, yes, you yeah, will meet him soon enough. One thing at a time. You're the one who brought him up. Anywho, this is where all the magic happens. Uh, magic? Oh, uh, you know. All the godly things I can do as God, I do them from here. Uh, God's seat of power is this cozy little room. Oh, you really think it's cozy? That's so nice of you. I knew that we were going to make such great friends and you just keep proving me right. I'm just trying to take this all in. It's, uh... It's not going very well. Honestly, I think I am in shock. You want some tea? God drinks tea? Hmm. I'm a coffee girl myself, of course. What else would I drink? I don't know, like nectar or something? Isn't that what deities drink in most stories? Nec- I'll have to write that down. Thank you kindly for the tippy tip. Oh my gosh. I love her. If you really are God, I have to say you are nothing like how I imagined you to be. You are so much better than I imagined. Oh? Am I disappointing you, is he? No, I... I don't know. It's just a lot. One minute I'm eating dinner, and... Now I'm here. Uh, hold on a second. How did I die? Oh. Oh. You're a boy. You're a poisoned. What? Uh, how? What? Uh, how? Three excellent questions. In that order. Uh, don't, don't you know? I do. But I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. Probably better if you figure it out for yourself. How am I supposed to do that? Don't you worry about that, Izzy. It will come back to you in time. What does that mean? It means that everything will be fine in the end. I think. You think? Ah, we're getting off track again. This isn't showing you how lucky you are at all. Let's switch the subject. It's quiz time. Huh? Don't be grumpy, Izzy. I promise you it'll be fun. Just answer my little questions and we'll take it from there, okay? Do I have a choice? Well, it depends. Think it's a good idea to keep saying no to God? Uh, fine. I'll play along. <laughs> Yay. First question. This one should be easy for you, because I, I know you're used to having servants around you. You catch one of your little maids stealing food from your house. And caught the poor underpaid services to provide for starving children. What do you do? Hmm. Seems like a moral choice thing. We're gonna go middle of the road. We go middle of the middle of the road. Still within the still within the uh rich girl confines, but with the uh, possibility for goodness. Modest white glow fills your mind. Ooh, I see. Second question. Let's dig a little deeper. Your best friend is getting married. Woohoo. But just hours before the ceremony starts, you catch your best friend's spouse to be kissing it up with someone else. Oh no. Disaster. <clears throat> what do you do? Wow. Holy crap. 
He's my best friend. I'm... Hmm. Friendly blue light fills your mind. So friendly, modest, and angry. I see. Third question. Now it's getting fun for real. I see how the mor morality is going on here. Oh my god. You take your new car for a drive and accidentally kill a pedestrian with it. Oops. Uh, hmm. Luckily for you, though, there's another person there. For some reason, he thinks he's the one who killed the poor walker. He's ready to take the blame, even though he's innocent. What do you do? Cool boy. This is a fucking loaded question. That's a good question indeed. Hmm. That's a hell of a question. I genuinely don't know what to... God. Like that would, I have to go, I have to go here because that would that would weigh on you. I thought as much. Fourth question. Just let me clear the old throat a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. What? Ahem. Behold. Moral quandary test inconclusive. Survey says Further mind based prodding required. Begin next phase. Oh boy. Uh, excuse me? Uh oh, sorry. This definitely gives me vibes of, uh, here's the actual voice of God, but uh, we're just appearing in a form that you find uh, comfortable and uh, unthreatening, so to speak. So, alas, uh, here we go. I was thinking out loud. You think in hexadec You think in hexadecimal? That's a. Thinking, think and be damned. It's a uh, very effective means of conveying the un unknowable, true voice of God. Let's skip that question, okay? Um, all right. Final question. And this is a doozy. Oh boy. Love. Balance. Power. Which of these things matters most to you? That's a good question. Hmm. We're not going to be explicitly. We're not going to be ex explicitly atomizing it up. Balance. Fantastic. So I I'm done. I am. And what was? What are my results? Well, hmm. The quiz definitely proves it. Definitely proved that you deserve to be here. Meaning what exactly? I can't tell you that. Why not? Can't tell you that either. Ah, but I can tell you the following. I know you're having a tough day, and in my own way, I'm trying to make things as easy as possible for you. You will forgive sweet little Remy for trying to lighten the mood a bit, will you? Reveal the quick menu by dragging the mouse cursor at the top center of the screen. What? Uh, hold up. Oh, hello. Oh, there's the log. Oh, thanks, Remy. I was wondering about that when I was doing some hexadecimal translation earlier. Use it to easily access core game features. That's, oh, that's not even you talking, that's just tutorial. As well as the, view the core of your morality orb. Is this the orb? Oh, that's these weird little blue-white. Because uh, we answered like half blue, blue being wholesome and good, white being middle-of-the-road balanced. 
of your morality, or based on your answers to Remy's questions, Isabel's morality has been determined to be that of a good-natured paragon. Huh. As opposed to Paragon. In morality, it affects several aspects of gameplay, such as available dialogue options, Isabel's reaction to things she investigates, and outcomes of certain game of I love that. I love this. That's amazing. Being altruistic, compassionate, understanding, a paragon generally sees the good over the bad. I suppose we trended more... We trended good enough that we fell into paragon. So can you do it? Can you forgive little Remy? Huh. Oh, there we go. That's why you got tutorialized for it, because we got a paragon option. I guess there's no harm in having a little fun. Ah, yes. That's what I'm saying. I knew you'd get it, Issy. Anywho, I'd like you to imagine this. Heaven. A place where you can have anything you want at any time. A place where all your dreams come true over and over. And if you aren't satisfied with them, you can tweak them till they're perfect. A place that you can only really call the true blissful paradise. That's why I called you lucky before, you see? You're here, and all the things I just said are yours for the taking. I know you might be disappointed about dying so young, but... All the things you loved in life, they are here too, and they're actually even better. And also, you'll stay beautiful forever. So, congratulations. You are special. So what do you say, Issy? Can you forgive me for not living up to your expectations? I... I'm trying to be the best I can be, you know? It's not easy being God sometimes. Can you imagine the pressure? Wishing so badly for each and every little lovable person to ever feel welcome here. I, uh... I have to admit that what you're saying sounds interesting. And I, well, somehow I feel like I can trust you. I don't really know why I feel that way. Hmm. But you've yet to tell me why I'm special. Can't really think of anything that makes me that remarkable. Don't you worry about that, is he? God says you're special, then you just are. But I... Shh, now. I've just said a lot of things to you. Give it a little time to sink in, huh? Get your bearings. Think about what I've said. And look around the old office. When you're ready, I'll be sitting right here waiting for you. You want me to, uh, explore this room? Yeah. I might find some interesting things in here. So that makes you realize how glorious the glorious your little afterlife can turn out to be. And besides, learning to properly explore is important for what lies ahead. Well, we're still being tutorialized. Have a look around, you see. I... Uh, fine. You get the feeling that if she wants something, it's going to happen regardless. So I might as well do as she says. I suppose that's the influence of God. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Enticing bookcase. It's full of books I've never heard of before. And strangely, they all seem to be glowing faintly. What's this? One of the books is moving on its own. And it's coming toward me. Attempt to deny the dubious Bill Book's dubious advances. <laughs> I need to see what happens here. Denied. It's getting closer. Ah, uh, well, might as well take a look. What's the worst that could happen? Let's see. Why Heaven is Fantastically Fantastic by Rem Theo. This should make for an interesting read. I'll just open it and, uh, what the? What? You find yourself surrounded by an infinite void. However, you feel strangely at peace. It's as if everything finally makes sense. Suddenly a rain of soft, juicy licorice falls down upon you. Your favorite treat in immeasurable abundance. And oh wait, is that the guy and or girl you've always liked? Why, yes it is. And they're here to declare their undying love for you. Yes, you scream in joy, passion, and ecstasy all at once. With the three, uh, three, uh, licorice shoelaces hanging out of your mouth. Uh, the only thing I could possibly make this all better is if, uh, can it be? Yes, yes it can. Whatever you just wished for came true. This is all too good to be real. If only you could stay like this forever. If only you... What? No. 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 Take me back. I want to stay. I want... What's that? Heaven. Wow. Wait. Something shiny stuck between some of these books. I don't know why, but I feel like I should take it. So I'll just do that, I guess. 
piece of heaven. What a trip. Landscape painting. It's a painting signed RT. Looking closer at it, it almost feels like the imagery is moving. Oh. View of heaven. Blue skies, clouds, and happy people as far as the eye can see. It's absolutely beautiful. But can I see myself staying here forever? Um, what are you doing there, Issy? I thought I'd read that note. As in the private note on my desk. Yeah. Sheesh. So, can I? Yeah. No. Fair enough. It's a world map. Because even God needs to practice her geography skills occasionally. You like my little personal corner of heaven, is he? Bet you get a lot of work done here. You have no idea. Uh, that bookcase is intense. Yep, errs. Little taste of what awaits you here, is he? Did you like it? I... It was amazing. Oh, a smile. Told you. So feel like you finished looking around? Yeah, I think so, yes. I'm good to good. So what do you think, is he? May to fully and truly join us in heaven. Honestly, I... I don't know why, but... Something about this place... I'm really liking it here. I mean, dang, the things I feel when opening that book. If it is really like that, then, well... All things considered, I feel at home here somehow. Like I was always meant to be here, you know? Heaven is where you rightfully belong, hmm? I guess so. That's great, is he? You're gonna say that just now really made my day. I just made God's day, huh? So it seems, little friend. And since you like it here so much, you don't mind helping me out with a teensy wincy little problem I'm having, right? Um, what kind of problem? Well, you see, remember how you're special? You keep saying that, yes. You were about to realize just how rare that is, Issy. Remember, if you would end up in heaven is very small. Only the best of the best. Curious? However, everybody else needs to go somewhere, too. Well, the living can't overflow with silly lost souls wandering around aimlessly now, can it? That'd be amazingly unamazing, don't you agree? That little verbal tick of hers is really endearing. I like that. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound great. Right? So, in order to avoid that, a compromise had to be done. Another place altogether for those not quite as lucky. A little playground of sorts. Down there, my brother keeps all their non-specials. The dwellers in check. They've got their days trying to make peace with their deaths. If they ever successfully find that peace, they get to go through an old glowing tunnel and then... They get another shot at becoming special. Hmm, that's interesting. Almost worked a, uh... I'm gonna say... Eastern-esque... Like... Somewhat Buddhism-influenced cycle of reincarnation. I assume that's what they're implying by going through a tunnel and getting another shot. It's reincarnation. Wow. Hmm? No, uh, it's just... You're revealing all the secrets of life and death, life after death to me, and... So let me try to get this straight. The purpose of living is to be great enough to make it to heaven, and if you don't manage it, uh... Then you must escape hell in order to try again? Not hell. I prefer to think of it as, uh, purgatory. Purgatory. Uh, hello? She's laughing because she just did a name drop, huh? Yes? 
You just stopped talking? It was a dramatic pause. Don't you enjoy the little flair in your exposition, is he? Don't change the subject. Are you angry with me, is he? Hmm. Oh, no, honestly. Oh. Well. I'd be thinking that I'm supposed to be all-powerful, so why don't I just make room for everyone here? It's not that simple, is he? You have to trust me on that. Can you do that? Can you trust me? Fine, I'll trust you. So what does your problem have to do with all of this? All right. I'm not just a big old mess today. I keep forgetting to focus. So, uh, yeah. You are a denizen, someone who lives here in heaven with me. And as such, I expect certain things from you. I already know that. Gee, I'm starting to really like this place. Help me out a little bit in order to stick around. Shouldn't be too much to ask, hmm? Wait. You're saying that you'll throw me out if I don't help you? Oh, it sounds so bad when you put it like that. That is what you're saying, though, isn't it? That's so cruel. Calm down, human. Remember who you're talking to. May be benevolent and fantastically fantastic, and I may love you, and may want you here with me, but, uh... Just as easily throw you down there to spend your afterlife with the rest of them. There are more special people out there. In a sense, you're expendable. Find someone else to take your place if you don't want it. That's... Well, I still love you, though. I... Hmm, that's concerning. It's just that I thought it was done. Now there's, a, there's this pressure to do something, and it sounds like it's going to be hard. Hard, smart. Someone as talented as you uh, finding out what's wrong over within the boring old purgatory will be a cakewalk. Oh, no. You want me to go to that other place? Yeah. For a while now, I felt like something's changed over there. Because of, um, certain rules. I can't investigate it myself, despite me being who I am. So, you will pose as a banished denizen. Someone with whom I have thrown out from heaven. And you will find out what's going on in my stead. You'll get to spend uh, lots of quality time with my brother, his new companion, and uh, all the lovely dwellers of purgatory. How does that sound? Uh, scary. And also, what would I even be? What, what would I even be looking for? Me to me? You don't have a single clue. All I know for certain is that my little bro is involved. He really doesn't like people from my domain, exiled or otherwise. So I'll definitely keep his all seeing eyes on you. Hmm. Maybe you were. You were right. This could get hard. <laughs> Good news, though. You won't be alone. Voluminous. You called, mistress. Oh. Knight and right hand of God. Oh, I like you. Ah, I always blush when you call me that, Volley. So, is this... Your bird, this is the girl I was telling you about. Wait, wait. I just got here, so when did you have the time to tell anyone about... Don't be silly, is he? I'm God, remember? I can do all the things. <laughs> oh, almost all the things. This must be the sweet boy she was talking about earlier. He looks very sweet. Look at him. Oops. I have to admit, he is easy on the eyes. Hey now, keep those dirty thoughts in check. I wasn't... I told you to stay out of my head. Hmm. Voluminous here is my most trusted servant. Won't have you fraternizing with the staff. I like this link between you and me while you find yourself in temporary exile from here. And also, since I have lots of things to do, he'll fill you in on the rest of the mission details. So it's a mission now, is it? Of course. It sounds so formal. Enough whining. <laughs> it's been great getting to know you, is he? I know you won't disappoint me. I'll... Bye. Woo! What the? That was rude. Please accept my sincerest apologies for Rem's behavior, Miss Selvy. She does not suffer fools. Excuse me? You think I'm a fool? Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't mean to suggest that. Uh, that that is to say, by which I mean, 
Hmm? Hmm. I'm not implying that you are a fool. Just that she can be, um, a bit, uh, difficult. I've figured out about it. I figured as much. Thank you. Good. Understanding that will make things easier. Honestly, if I hear someone use the word special one more time... Huh. She does have a penchant for certain key phrases, yes. Is it just me, or is she kind of, uh, all over the place? Personality-wise, I mean. You're not wrong. So what's your story? Huh. Me. Yeah. We're going to work- we're, go we're going to be working together, aren't we? I figure we should get to know one another. That's, uh... That wouldn't be proper conduct. At least, not for now. Oh. I'm sorry, I... It's just, uh, the mission. That's what's important now, not me. Fine. Besides, I'm not actually going to be doing this whole thing with you. I'll give you the details and act as your escort, but after that you're on your own. But Rem said that you'd act as a link between me and her. Yes, well, you'll be reporting to me. In secret, I might add. It's of huge importance that the guy doesn't suspect heavenly involvement. The guy is that god's brother. Yes. Can he also read dines, then? He can, but uh, luckily for us, he's unable to hear the thoughts of denizens. Ex-denizens like me included? Indeed. I won't lie to you, Miss Salvi. Please, call me Isabel. Mm, conflicted, I won't lie to you, Isabel. What you're about to do is very, very dangerous. However, Rem can be trusted. She's always been good to me, even before assigning me to this post. I truly believe that she gave you this task because she knows you can complete it successfully. After all, uh, much is at stake. Uh, Are you... all right? <clears throat> well, I die, I somehow make it to heaven, learn all the secrets of the afterlife, get thrown back out to... To cap it all off, I'm forced to go on a dangerous undercover mission given to me by God herself. All this in, like, what? A few hours? But hey, it's all good, because apparently I'm special. Hmm. Oh, and also... God and heaven are both real! I'm just supposed to accept all this at face value as if it's the most natural thing in the world. Honestly, how could I possibly be alright? Sorry, I, I know this isn't your fault. Uh, I shouldn't be taking it out on you. You are... Understandably frustrated, Miss Isabel. Not long ago, I was just like you. Pondering all these questions, new to heaven, wondering what I'd done in life to deserve making it here. To be perfectly honest, I still don't fully know. That's not very reassuring. I mean, doesn't not knowing bother you? It does, to a certain extent. However, I've come to realize that perhaps just being here is a good enough. It made me wonder if, like, the whole being special thing is something that Rem can subvert for her needs when she's looking for staff. Able to do things specifically for her, since she specifically said that Isabel's expendable. She can just pull someone else in to replace her if she won't do if she won't do the job. Like she's cleared to come to heaven, but uh, if you don't do the job that I'm looking for someone to do, you you're out of here, girl. Feels a bit like maybe she didn't get the uh, the normal one way ticket to heaven. I'm sure you sought yourself in Rem's book, The Infinite Pleasures Available to Us in Heaven. 
including opportunities to deal with unfinished business. Huh? Hmm? That is, uh, I didn't intend to, by which I mean... Uh, Quite cute when he gets flustered like that. All right, enough is enough. Do you have any questions before we begin our journey to Purgatory? Oh shit! Oops. Let's see if we get. First off, we're saving here because we see if we get one more than one question. I'm very curious about this unfinished business of yours. I'm sorry, but I don't want to discuss that. Oh, are you a future bout? Maybe he'll be more, maybe he'll be more willing to share later. Can we date you? Is this really heaven? As far as my data can confirm, yes. Data? Are you some kind, are you some kind of scientist? Was there anything else? Purgatory? You'll be able to form your own opinions soon enough. I have to, I have to admit that I'm a, quite a bit worried. Hmm. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Isabel. I appreciate you being so kind to me. It's, uh... Oh, it's my pleasure. A smile. Maybe later, when we have some time, could we talk about more... Talk some more about non-mission stuff? Oh, I suppose I wouldn't mind that. Oh, alright. Time to go. Very well, then. Our track begins now. We're going by foot? Yes. We're about to walk from heaven to purgatory. Yes. Like it's just right down the block. Are you even aware of how insane that sounds? I suppose all this time spent here has made me numb to the absurdity of it, to a degree. Good thing I'm here to good thing I'm here to remind you then. Right. Now then, please follow me into the tunnel. I totally miss that there's a giant entrance. Or maybe giant exit. Right outside these gates. It doubles us both. I'll tell you more about it as we walk. Your tears mean nothing to me. Oh boy. It's really dark in here. Just stick close to me and you'll be fine. Are there any dangers around? Only the obvious danger of getting lost. Eek. Before Rem told me about a tunnel located in Purgatory. Is, it, is this the same one? Yes. As I understand it, though, the tunnel is magical in nature. I think that it isn't strictly a one-way passage, but rather can lead us to a myriad of places. But the reason, for this reason, it is very important to know where you are headed, or else there is no telling where you may end up. Is there anything about the afterlife that is straightforward? In my experience, no. As you count the fact that we're all deceased, which is a familiar enough concept, I suppose. Somehow I almost managed to forget that. It's quite interesting how quickly we get used to not being alive. Yeah. So, you walk down here often? Actually, this will be my first time visiting Purgatory. Hmm. God's most trusted servant has never been here? In general, des denizens don't have any reason to make the trip. Unless, of course, they've been banished, in which case they don't have much of a choice. Denizens and dwellers should never mix, as Rem puts it. Huh. Oh, this guide character thinks it's very suspicious that you're coming with me? Usually Rem herself brings the banished to purgatory. So yes, it could be seen as strange. However, she has her reasons for doing things, and I must assume that she's taken that into account as well. Besides, the guide has recently appointed a dweller to be his new companion in running his domain. Oh? Taking that into account, I guess that isn't our, that it isn't out of the question for God to promote a human of her own. Is that what you mean by getting assigned to this post? You got promoted. You catch on very quickly, Isabel. I try. Oh. I'm very impressed, Voluminous. Hmm? You said you'd never been here before, but uh, I think the right way seems easy enough for you. Oh, I... 
I have studied extensively in preparation for this journey. One always needs to be prepared, after all. Ah. Uh, studies. I take it you're not much of a scholar. I, uh, I'm pretty good at learning things, but my father is very strict about it. Or was, I guess. Since I won't be seeing him again. Never say never. Hmm? Are we there yet? Just about. In fact, we should be able to see things brighten up very soon. Thanks for being such pleasant company. Likewise. There we go. Ah, my eyes. Open them slowly and behold. Purgatory. Whoa. Ouroboros? Huh, this looks kind of like a, uh, a, a terminal. Does appear to be some sort of waiting hall. Is that what I just said? I think that this is what awaited us at the other end of the tunnel. Most fascinating. He's not, even, he's not even listening to me at this point. So, what now? I'm certain that we can expect a welcoming committee at any time now. Oh! Rise and shine! Oh. Your eyes. Denizens. And there appears to be two of you. What is that filthy beast playing at? How dare you refer to... How dare you refer to Rem like that? Rem, huh? First name basis, is it? Tisk tisk, Mr. Cas... Mr. Casarek. God's favorite little pet. You. You better say that itchy trigger finger of yours, boy. Hasty actions will only serve to your detriment. After all, you are not important to anyone anymore. So hey, there's Rem's brother. He's a doozy. You're just a dead man with no purpose. Aye. That's... The way this man talks to Luminous. Does he know him from before? And you, girl. Vexing as it is to admit, you are entirely unfamiliar to me. Oh, I'm... Do not interrupt me. I was just trying to be polite. And stay silent until you're spoken to. But you did speak to me. Now allow me to introduce myself. Though of course I'm fairly certain that you already have a notion as to who I am. I am he who knows. He who controls. He who is feared and revered. He was referred to as the King of Shadows. But most importantly, one who shows you the... I'm the one who shows you the way. That's why they call me... The guide. Enigmatic ruler of purgatory. This is him, huh? Hmm. So this is him, huh? His appearance and mannerisms. They are strange, but striking somehow. And what is your name, girl? I'm Isabel. Isabel Salvi. I see. Miss Salvi. Would you care to divulge why you've accom you're accompanied here by this white knight? Are you not important enough to be brought here by God herself? Allow me to explain. I did not ask you, Miss Mr. Casarike. I'm asking her. Hmm, it can be Paragonish. I stared at him silently. Ah, you're exactly right. I'm not important enough. Please, please believe my lie. Please believe my lie. Please believe my lie. Such cruelty bestowed upon you by one who claims to love you. Hmm? Yes. Very well. Whew. At any rate, welcome, welcome to Purgatory, Miss Salvi. Normally this, normally this would be the point where I simply take my leave and allow you to begin your arduous journey of introspection, which some day may or may not lead you away from here. However, my new partner insists that all dwellers deserve a more cohesive introduction to the afterlife. Unfortunately, I must also extend this service to insufferable denizens such as yourself. As far as he knows, I'm not a denizen anymore. He 
still seems to dislike me, though. So if you'd care to join me, lead the way. Not you, obviously, but I... You're just an escort, aren't you? Unless you have an ulterior motive for being here. You're right. Forgive me for my lack of proper conduct. However, I will wait here until Isabel returns from your introduction. Hmm. That isn't how it's usually done. I've been given strict orders to ensure that Isabel will be alright in your care. Hmm. I can't believe she doesn't trust me. Oh, utterly devastating. But also entirely warranted. <laughs> Fine then. Mr. Kasarek. Kasarek. Feel free to enjoy this dull room until your young protege returns to tell you about how wonderful Purgatory is. I'll make sure to do that. There's definitely something going on between these two, but what is it all about? Let us be off, Miss Selvi. Ah, uh, yes. I'll see you soon, Luminous. Indeed. Good. And here we are. This is your office. Uh, that was fast. So the wonders of teleportation are not lost on you. How unexpectedly refined for a denizen. Hmm. What do you have against people from heaven anyways? I mean, Rem's your sister, so what's with all the hate? It's been a long while since someone irritated me this much in such a short while. He looks very angry. Let me make one thing exceedingly simple for you to understand. If you ever call her my sister again, I'll terminate you on the spot. We are not siblings of any kind. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Yes. Maybe I shouldn't have asked him that. I need to watch myself. In fact, you are spectacularly suspicious. Everything about you screams Rem. Perhaps I should, perhaps I should obliter obliterate you right away, instead, instead sparing myself any potential grievances. No! Please, I... Ooh! Guide? What are you doing? I am simply teaching dear Isabel some manners. Is that it? Because to me it sounded like you were threatening her. Ah. Have you entirely lost your sense of humor, my dear partner? I never liked your idea of fun, and you know that. Um? Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you alright? I think so, yeah. That's relief. Oh, I know what a handful this man can be. Oh no, that smile. Someone needs to keep the house clean, remember? What does that even mean? Hmm. Please forgive him if you can find it in your heart. He's very serious about running this place properly. Probably a bit too serious. Someone has to be. Anyways, I'm the voice, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Purgatory. And to the Hall of This, uh, the Hall of Deities. The voice? Ooh, compassionate dweller turned deity. Ooh. Oh. Thank you. Oh, she's sweet. That seems really nice and so human somehow. I have a feeling that I'll like her. The voice is such an odd name, though. Maybe she's a good singer or something. Don't grow, don't grow attached to this one voice. She's a denizen. And not only that, she was accompanied by... Hmm, someone other than Rem. Aha! Weird. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, though. It most certainly could be. Need to be more, ser more serious, yes, I know. Let's talk about this later, alright? We're boring, poor Isabel. Uh, I don't mind. Silence! Ah. Just give her the things already, hmm? Things? Think of, it, think of it as a starter pack to your new life. Things that will be very helpful for you when trying to make peace with your death. Hmm. You're overstepping your bounds, voice. I am the one who explains this to new arrivals, not you. Explain then, instead of complaining. Uh, I shall. As my uh, dear associate began to explain, these objects are of particular usefulness to you. Your objective as a guest in purgatory, a dweller, is to get out of here, after all. Making peace with your death, as it were. Now you're just repeating what I said. Your death, regardless of what, is it, of what it entailed, is something that you need to come to terms with. 
Only then will you be able to relieve through the tunnel. For some, this is stunningly difficult, and as a result, there are dwellers who have been here since time immemorial. Uh, really? They may carry denial, or shame, or guilt, among other things. These are but a few of th these are but a few of the reasons why some never manage to leave. But I'm sure you won't have any such troubles. After all, at one point you were apparently fit for heaven. That doesn't, necessar that doesn't necessarily mean, or maybe it does. I understand. I think. Thank you for explaining all this to me. I'm still adjusting. Of course. Take all the time you need. Let me tell you, my first day here was nothing but. Uh... No one wants to hear about. No one wants to hear about that voice. I do. Now help yourself to these indispensable trinkets. A pamphlet, which will offer you invaluable information provided by yours truly. A bag, which will allow you to carry an infinite number of items. And a quest log, which will guide you when you are unavoidably lost. Ooh! The side menu is now available! You should have a look at its various features. Main Story Act 1. Make it through your first day in Purgatory. Hell yeah. Bag of Holding. A piece of heaven. Curious. Ooh. Dang! You're... <laughs> 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 I love this. Oh, I love this so much. Dang, you're dead. See, the ins and outs of the afterlife. Bonus guy. How to accept the transience of life in ten easy steps. I've taken you by the hand, for you must come to my dance. Drug, Isabel. Poor lost girl into the brand new world. The age-old tale told so many times over that it makes me want to regurgitate. Sadly, however, that is one distinctly human and profoundly disgusting ability that I lack in my repertoire. Probably for, for the best that you made it here, though. I find it obvious from your awkward demeanor that you are not particularly loved in life. And clearly heaven didn't want you either. <laughs> so there's clearly uh, the guide writing these character descriptions. I love it. Did I just go too far, you ask? You've seen nothing yet. You're in my world now, and I'll make sure it stays that way. Oh, that's concerning. Grim Theo. All hail God, the goddess supreme. Not. <laughs> My sister is a deranged lunatic who spews nonsense to those foolish enough to listen. But I suppose humans will always strive to attain the most basic of pleasures as long as it comes free to them. Such as the appeal of heaven. She claims to be stronger than me, but I believe there's a reason why we have yet to test our metal against each other. She fears me, and she's right to do so. There's definitely something behind the scene going on behind the scenes here. God's office? Here she sits, my dear sister, blessing humanity with her many spontaneous wonders. Except for all the time she spends upon living in the name of getting closer to them, that is. Rem Almighty? Rem Almighty. My personal belief is that all the time that time spent on Earth has whittled away the last vestiges of brilliance she once had. To be granted such power is no coincidence. However, the price of letting the human stain get closer to your soul must be paid. That is savage as hell, and I dig it. <laughs> the logo for the whole of the Hayes Daddies being his goofy ass smiling picture. A whole fit for a king, the King of Shadows, me. It is intended to celebrate my many impressive achievements. But what you see here is but a fraction of what I've accomplished, of course. You're curious about the big door, you say? If you know what's good for you, you'll let that remain a feeling. Even a deity must have his privacy. Ah, the rejects of heaven. How dare you show your face here? We both know that this isn't this wasn't your first choice. That's quite hurtful, you know. Suppose an argument could be made that you didn't choose willingly to go there, nor here. And if so, by extension I am needs to quote those who happen to end up here as ex denizens. However, here's my counter argument. I don't care. Fair enough. The dwellers, my guests of honor and my personal ant, ant farm, truly make my job worth having. The dweller, your main objective is to make peace with your death and then hastily leave this place. I am here to guide you in the process, hence my name. It is quite sad, however. Apony end up falling, failing in this most simple of tasks. 
Do I mind even staying put? Yes, I want them out. The longer it takes, the more it drains me. This is my purpose, and I will do whatever it takes to fulfill it. So in other words, if I treat you cruelly, you deserve it. Shadow. Every shadow is a dweller, but not every dweller is a shadow. But what is a shadow, exactly? Are they lost? Lacking something? Heartless? Not interesting. Dwellers who have outlived their usefulness. Punished creatures. Viciously unappealing in general. The answer is all of that, and also none of that. What kind of king would I be if I were to so easily divulge what purpose these shadows truly filled my kingdom? Hmm. The tunnel. Where does the tunnel lead? The question I always get and never answer. Partly because I don't want to. Partly because your mind cannot comprehend the answer. How convenient you may think. I assure you there's nothing convenient about this abomination of a portal. It can take you anywhere but the perverse of a murky at best. One thing is clear, though. Make peace with your death, and the way forward will be clearer. Otherwise, you'd best avoid it entirely. And the void. I am the void, and the void is me. It's part of the world. It is I am part of the world. And by part, I merely mean entirely. Entirety. To put it in simpler terms, there can be no purgatory without me, and there can be no purgatory without the void. It is all connected. Besides, darkness is always easier on the eyes than brightness. So maybe you should thank me for my prowess in the field of visual design. I... <laughs> all this seems really great. It is. Look at you being all helpful. Where was this side of you back when I first came here? This is hardly the time to reminisce, Miss B... The dynamic is strange. Can't tell if they'd like each other or not. I don't think of it, the voice must be the only one voluminous mentioned on the way here. The dweller who got promoted. She's made it clear that she was human before, so it's definitely her. Well then, off you go. Eh? Oh, um, uh... Where should I go? S seriously Just help her guide. Just help her guide? What happened to the simpler times when dwellers had to solve conundrums for themselves? Figure out how to leave this place enough for a riddle, don't you think? I'm very much beginning to regret this partnership. Very well. Every dweller gets a room especially tailored to their preferences for the duration of their stay. Make your way to the Hall of Rooms and you'll find yours. There's a friendly shadow there who can help you further. Shadow? Ah, yes, they're, uh... Nobody's. That's all you need to know about them. Now close your eyes and I'll send you directly there as a first time courtesy. Ah, uh, that's nice. I know. Farewell for now, Miss Salvi. I'll see you later, Isabel. I. Woo! What the? I didn't even have time to say bye back. The guide seemed just helpful enough after the voice arrived, but he obviously has his eyes on me. Feeling that if it weren't for her, I'd. This is what he's like now. How are things here before she arrived? Actually, what if she's faking that pleasantness? I shouldn't be so quick to believe what these deities say. In fact, who should I trust? Can I trust anyone at all? Maybe there's someone here in Purgatory who has more things in common with me. Maybe. I beg your pardon, miss. Huh? You startled me. Oh dear. I did not mean to. I tried waving at you, but you seemed lost in thought. Eventually, I started to worry. The well-being of dwellers is my top priority, you see. You should make arguments that it's my reason for existing. I... Uh, see? You, uh... Don't have to worry. I was just pondering stuff, I guess. As is to be expected. Your first day in Purgatory, am I correct? Uh, that's right. But it is my honor to welcome you here. To the Hall of Rooms. This is where every single room for every single dwelling is located. A refined establishment for an equally refined afterlife. All run by me, your humble servant. Indelic Indelicio. Indelicio. Untiring service-minded shadow. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, miss. Ah, but I'm sure you're eager to access your room, yes? That's right. And that's, uh... uh... Oh, and you're a denizen. Is that a problem? Not a problem strictly, but, uh... More of an inconvenience. For you, that is. 
Uh, how so? You see, dwellers have the ability to access their rooms directly through simply thinking about them. This is the courtesy that is not extended to the denizens, and as such, you must come here and talk to me every time you want to enter your room. I'm dreadfully sorry for this, but rest assured that I will stand here day and night, ready to attend to every need. I see. Well, that's good to know. So even though we're dead, we still need to sleep? Ah, yes, about that. Strictly speaking, no, you do not require you do, you do not require sleep. There is no proper passage of time here, and your body does not need to recharge as it would during your livelier days. That said, resting still feels good, and may provide room for such some much-needed reflection. Therefore, it is still recommended to partake in the occasional shut-eye. I guess that makes sense. But you mentioned that you'd be here day and night? How is that possible if time, if time doesn't flow? Maybe it was just an expression? Ah yes, another fine topic of conversation. You see, up until recently, we were, when we were being graced with the arrival of the voice, uh, being a dweller was markedly worse. She probably made some groundbreaking changes, which has made the afterlife here in Purgatory a considerably improved experience, meant to more properly emulate human living conditions. One of these changes is the addition of a faux day-night cycle. So no, time doesn't really move, but the changing of scenery and brightness over a simulated 24-hour live time span creates the uh, illusion that it does. Oh, oh, wow. That's, uh... This place just keeps getting weirder. Wonderfully weird, one might say. Hmm. Would you mind showing me to my room? Well, of course. But I do apologize profusely if my explanation came across as long-winded. It's fine, Indelicia. Then, if you'll follow me. Pink! Quite lovely. Here we are, miss. Room prepared especially for you. Oops. So if there's anything else, I'll be stationed where you found me last. Andy. Uh, thank you. As far as I can tell, it really is perfect. Should have a proper look around. Well, these she's pretty. More than just my cute looks, Father. You'll see. Oh. She did say she... What do we know about Isabel so far? That's a concerning picture. Because... What we know about her, we, she didn't really like studying that much. And now, this comment alone. Hmm. Rich girl ceiling lamp. It's lampy. She can go brightly all through the night, keeping me company. This is all so strange. <laughs> lampy. Oh, that is cute. She'd go brightly all through the night, keep me company. Alright. The comfiest of beds. Leave room. Unsent letter. That seems horribly on point. It's the letter I never sent. What's that doing here? Nope, not going down that route just yet. Comfy to beds. This bed looks just like. But it doesn't just look the part. It's definitely my bed. The one I have. I had. Back home. It's the best bed in the whole world. Well, someone's really, really done their homework. Whatever place I'll be staying once I'm back in heaven will have a tough time competing with this. In some ways, it's even better than back when I was. than it was back when I. when I was alive. I. It's suddenly hit hitting me. That I'm alone for the first time since dying. It's... I can't believe that. I'm really dead, aren't I? 
father always said that I'd die poor and unwanted if I didn't take the Salvi name seriously. Oh, that's... Like my mother before me, I had him to thank for everything. Women have to work harder, he told me. Well, to be treated like they deserve and fear it, man. Oh, wow, your father sucks shit. Now look at me. Was he right about all those awful things? Is it my own fault for not trying harder? Was it my own privilege that caused all this to happen? Why was I killed? Why would someone poison me? Was I really that terrible a person? Well, time eventually helped me figure it out, like Rem said. I need some air. Whatever it is I'm breathing here. I should go back outside. Indelicia was standing there. Still standing there, like he said he would. Oh, there's someone else here, too. Hey, man. Take me to my room, will ya? Of course, Mr. Alwiz. Damn, man. Always with the formality. Can it already, huh? All the time I've spent here, bro. Like, uh, bros, man. I'm fairly certain that we're not related, and the prospect of us being so would, of course, please me greatly. No, like... Uh, huh. Never mind. Hmm? And who might you be? He seems friendly. My name is... Uh, ah, hold on a second. I'm a gentleman, so I should go first. Oh. Alright. I'm Bliss. It's, all, it's nice to meet you, man. Bliss always. Oh. Um, I'm not a man. We've now met Bliss. Ah, another one of Rem's discarded toys. Oh, no wonder that you and him found each other, I suppose. Such is the way of trash. Ever conjoined until it is burned to cinders. He's brave yet fearful. Relaxed yet antsy. Impulsive yet careful. Walking annoying contradiction. He spent as much time honing his craft as a musician as he did sprucing up that ridiculous hair of his. And perhaps he would have actually made something of himself in life. Failed musician. There's nothing more valuable than a man who knows his place. Such is the way of Indalicio. For that reason, I find it... Even I find it hard to say something negative about him. I'll do it anyway, just because I can. <laughs> I love him. He's such an asshole. Ooh, Luminous has a spot here. I didn't even see that. Oh, I didn't even see the other end of this. This shadow is a complete dolt who... While impressively loyal, I consistently fails to live up to my expectations. It's a cautionary tale, really. Even if your heart or lack thereof is in the right place, it does not mean a thing unless you have the ability to back it up. Luminous Kasareke. Rem's loyal dog. An utterly detestable man with a hero complex which borders on egomania. His family is well known in the afterlife, in heaven and purgatory alike. Just so much fun to be had for a clan of utterly broken people. Who use money to wash themselves of their sins. Despite all his shortcomings, he still appears to he still seems to appeal to the so-called fairer sex. Based on my personal connections, I know this for a fact. Huh. There he is. It wasn't always the fantastic being I am today. In fact, I come from humble beginnings. Life at the farm where I grew up was tough. Early on, I had to learn how to depend on others, and... Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, I can get through that without laughing. I've always been sublime, and I always will be. Claim otherwise, and I shall obliterate you where you stand. And... Was I human once? Regrettably so. Whatever trail of dirt that unfortunate truth has left in me has long since gone. I have ascended. I am complete. I am the guide. I love him. Yeah. Not a day goes by without me casually regretting my choice to turn this infuriating girl into a fellow deity. What would compel me to do such a thing? To ascend a dweller to a station of power that nearly rivals my own? I'm sure you'd... I'm quite sure you'd love to know. But I won't tell you. However, there are many ways to find out. Perhaps by taking a pit stop of your own in Purgatory. Did you come for the first game? Did you come with the first game? Connection? 
Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Just looking at the... Just looking at a screenshot of the... Just looking at the store image for the first game, I can immediately see her. I can see the guide. Oh, yes. So we're definitely playing the first game now to see more of you. A god, this is dwellers I've never seen, huh? I've never been happier to be here than they are now. How much does the influence of this curiously appealing girl who works tirelessly for their sake? For some reason. There will perhaps be more added to this list after the fact. Locations. Isabel's room. It's a sad, sad place. The colors enough are alone are enough to induce panic in any self-respecting deity, but even beyond that... Oh, just sad. So go sleep for a while, Isabel. Look at your pretty face in the mirror. And keep fearing that letter. It's time for some mental gymnastics, little girl, and you're late for class. <laughs> I love him! I love this! There's such savage fucking lines that I, ah, I fucking love this. Hall of Rooms. The voice once talked with me about a movie which dealt with a terrifying hallway with no end. Normally I wouldn't listen to such blabbering nonsense, but the imagery of it was somehow inspiring. And so I decided to build this, the Hall of Rooms. Before there was no real rhyme or reason wherein it came to the placement of each guest's individual room in purgatory. Now we have an entire building de dedicated solely to this purpose. An infinite one, I might add. I can, I can only imagine how impressed you must be right now. Hmm. <laughs> um, the first thing that comes to mind, talking about endless hallway, is like the paradox involving the infinite hotel. Making reservations in the infinite hotel and that jazz. Uh, But, uh... <gasps> the other matter being, uh... Beyond that, only thing that actually, uh... Comes to mind regarding a movie with a Hall of Infinite Rooms is The Matrix. For, that was the second one, Reloaded. I think it's the second one? It's like fighting infinite... One of the cases where he's fighting infinite Agent Smiths, uh, just going back and forth through doors in the hallway and that jazz. I don't know, maybe there's a horror movie that involves that I don't know about, but... Alas. Pearly Gates! Innumerable are the men and women of, who have stood in front of these gates wishing to enter. Let any of them know that God is insane and her criteria for letting you in is beyond any known logic. Innocence, bah! Better off here, you're better off here with me. At least I'm honest in my dislike of you. Uh, anyways. Yeah, uh, I can see that. So for the confusion. Just the way I talk. Like a, uh, mannerism? Some would refer to it as a verbal tick, I believe. Thank you, Indy. Hey, now. But talking is a feature, not a bug. Thank you very much. Of course, Mr. Alves. I didn't mean to offend. No offense taken, bro. Again, I must stress that we're... All right, all right, we're not related. Enough already. I'm... Isabel, by the way. Ah, oh, that's right, introductions. I almost forgot that I asked for your name. <laughs> that happens to me, too, sometimes. No, I'm not alone, then. I, for one, do not forget things. Ever. Nobody asked, but good for you. Thanks for jamming in, man. Hey, earlier, you were about to ask Into Lucia to take you to your room, right? What about it? Does that mean you're a, a denizen, too? Uh, I am, yeah. Wait, don't tell me. How about that, huh? I know I felt a connection to you, man. It's a pair of cool people thrown out of heaven. She write a song about us. You're a musician. That's right. Hey, are you busy right now? Not even a little. About getting out of here then. It's not nice to talk over at Robros. What's that? You don't know? Uh, oh. 
Don't tell me this is your first day here, man. It, it is. Damn, that's rough. Tell you what, then you really have to come with me. Robos is a bar. Like, the only bar around. It's the best place to hang out, man. Bartender can be a bit much, though. Other than that, it's great, man. I can tell that you need to get a few drinks in you. Damn straight, that's exactly what I need. I'm role-playing according to my values. I'm not sure about drinking, but I'll go with. It's, I hung out in bars and been around people drinking enough without it partaking myself. Never really had interest in it. Come with you, not sure about drinking. Don't worry, no pressure. I'll show you the way, it isn't far. Well, like a man I just met to a bar, my father would kill me if he heard about this. I guess that ship sailed, though. Maybe he did, who knows. Oh, sorry, I was distracted by something. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. All right, then. Robos, man. Here we come. Have a pleasant rest of your day, Mr. and Miss. You know it, man. See you later, Indonesio. Robos Bar. This is the place. Pretty sweet, isn't it? It sure is a bar. Hmm, it's a very bright. Right? Hey, old Dyke, I'll go find us some awesome seats. Be right back, man. Sounds good. I guess I'll just stand here awkwardly until he's back. Ah, <sighs> being alone amongst strangers. Definitely one of the worst feelings. I'm gonna get used to it, though. Things probably aren't changing anytime soon. By the burning flames of his flames of Asmodeus. This will not stand. What the? Someone's yelling over there. Ooh, is that the guide? Is he having a fight with that wind dressed in black? I must ask you that. I must ask that you calm yourself right this instant, Miss Inverse. Your childish behavior is bothering the guests of this stellar establishment. To hell with the guests! And to hell with you, false prophet! May the path that you walk always be riddled with poison ivy! Ooh, savage. If so, I'll make sure to wear shoes with proper soles. Ah! What was that all about? She sure ran out. She sure ran out of here in a hurry. Ah, Miss Salvi, I'm dreadfully sorry you had to see that. Some of our guests can't handle their drinks, you see. An unfortunate drawback owing to the luxury of having a tab that never needs to be settled. Ah, uh, I see. So you're a bartender too? Hmm. Yes. Does that surprise you? Uh, not really. Everything I heard and seen today, you serving drinks comes pretty far down the list of surprises. Huh. What an oddly refreshing attitude. Newcomers usually react to my secondary vocation without a disbelief. Maybe I'm not like most newcomers. I do believe you're right about that. Uh-oh. He's got the he's got the look. Oh, uh, well, I, I spoke too soon. I'm stealth roll stealth roll ten. Stealth roll one. Hey, Isabel, hi. Not this guy. Mr. Always, what a joy I see to see you here. Again. This fine evening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. You're here together, aren't you? Two denizens find each other instantly here in Purgatory. Now isn't that just a magical coincidence? What are you implying? Implying? Me. I'm merely stating the obvious. Have fun now, kids. Huh, I'm so sick of that guy. I, for one, love him. <laughs> you and me both. Worst part is that if you want to order something, you have to go talk to him. Despite that, you think the drinking is worth it? What can I say? Stuff tastes good. Fair enough. Speaking of which, I found a booth. Lead the way. I have to admit, man, these are great seats. Did you be able to find them, Bliss? So, uh, is the guide always here? Yep. Literally all the time. But how could he be here when he's also, uh, elsewhere? Beats me. Something, something omnipresence, I guess. Uh, oh. At this point, I feel like nothing surprises me anymore. This place does have that effect on you. 
when I've had all that boring stuff. I got us some drinks. Irish, Irish coffee, one each. Huh. That's one of my father's favorites. Man of great taste, huh? Well, he's a misogynistic asshole. One thing you have to know about me, man. Coffee is life. You see me drinking something, you can be sure there's some amount of caffeine in it. Sounds like you have an addictive personality. Oh no, I... I'm sorry, that came out wrong. Don't worry about it, man. I mean, you aren't necessarily wrong. So, uh, bottoms up. Time to taste? Why not? Good queen on top and everything. I'm sure it can't be that bad. So, what was it? Uh, uh, strong. But not too bad. I feel that. Whiskey packs a special punch, man. Irish coffees, Irish whiskey, hot coffee, and sugar. Stirred on top with cream. Coffee is drunk through the cream. That is powerful. If you're into whiskey, but we will probably like it. I don't know if I could handle something as strong as whiskey. Actually, a few sips are enough for me. You can have the rest of it. Don't mind if I do. Hey, uh... Did you know that whiskey with an E refers to Irish and US whiskey? Or whiskey without an E refers to Scottish, Canadian, and Japanese whiskey? Uh, man, that's a little whiskey in one sentence. But no, man, I did not know that. Pretty much know nothing about it besides, well, uh, how to drink it. And you can learn a lot about it just from drinking it. If you're discerning, you can sort of train your uh, palate to... Carry a lot of that alcohol trivia around with you? I guess I'm just knowledgeable in general. Did you pick that up from your father and his habits? Didn't take you for the studying type. It's not by choice. When she says it like that, I feel like it could be... Uh, related to the idea of... Uh, being in the same room as her rich father in big important business related party things and absorbing all the facts that he spits out as he's drinking with buddies and the like huh you live and you learn huh live and learn da -da 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 Sonic. that's right I mentioned earlier that you're a musician oh yeah I am what kind of music do you play? Mostly acoustic singer-songwriter stuff. I used to be in a heavy metal band as a guitarist, then I started doing my own thing. The guitar is like an extension of myself, man. But... But... But? I accidentally broke it a few days ago, and I'm not sure if I'll ever get it back. Huh? Can't the guy just create a new one for you? Could, but he doesn't like me. Neither does the petty guy over at the burger store. I gave it to for repairs. This place has a store? Oh, please, please let the Perga store be a, be a uh, Walmart, Walmart-like place. Thought nothing surprised you anymore. For some reason, the prospect of a store in Purgatory actually did. Huh. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Do you want me to help you? How exactly would you do that? Well, I'm... I'm pretty good at getting what I want. Huh? Maybe I'll just try having a talk with that store owner. What's worse that could happen? Y you'd do that for me? We just met. Consider it a thank you for keeping me company today. If I had met you outside my room, I'd be wandering this place all alone by now. So. Alright then. Let me point you in the general direction of the place. I'll wait here till you get back. After all, I do have two drinks to keep me busy. True. I'll be back soon. Good luck. Here we are. That is certainly a store. 
At this point, we're gonna leave. We're still on day one. This is impressive. We're gonna leave off here. Though, when we return, we'll see about getting uh, Bliss's guitar back. It's our current quest. I do love this. <laughs> this is delightfully charming. A robust bar? The local watering hole and first stop for many of our new guests. Despite lacking the ability to feel thirsty, dwellers still flock here day after day, night after night, to inebriate themselves. It is a sad state of affairs when drugs are needed to dull the pain of one's existential dread. But again, who am I to deny supply when there is such an overwhelming demand? Fair enough. Oh, I didn't see this. Waiting hall, the first and last step for any dweller lucky enough to be a guest in my domain. Don't know how many traumatized humans I've welcomed in my quest to have them all, have them fall in line and be good little boys and girls. With definitely more than you can ever imagine. Originally I put the bench there as a simple joke. Single bench for billions upon millions of lost souls. I was expecting them to, I was expecting them to fight for that seat. That never happened. Instead it goes mostly unused. That is the real tragedy of the afterlife. <laughs> I love this. I love it. I love the guide. I love him. That's a fun duo that we've been introduced to here so far. The guide and the voice. Uh, it's beautiful. That is something beautiful here. I'm enjoying that. Alright. I will leave off here then. When we return... We'll go, we will uh, embark on our first proper quest. Until next time, until then.